Wow, it's amazing how different the feel is when you come back to Fallout 3. It's just a little, there's some, something a little different about it. There we go, that looks... Well, here we are in Megaton, and you may be wondering, why have we returned to Fallout 3 and actually a few other Fallouts? At least one more Fallout. Hello. Hello. Like, do you have to know that where the door is? Not obvious. But what I want to investigate is how likely is the Fallout for the Brotherhood of Steel? And for that, we have to head back to Welcome the Citadel. Welcome to Megaton. Enjoy. Let's go to where is the map. Your stay. Why are we here? We stance. Yeah, there we go. World map. It's been so long. Take me a minute to find the citadel. Here we go. Yes, we want to travel to the citadel. And here we are. Now this is the citadel. This is the home of the what the heck? Stuff going on. A big one. Look out. He just wasted his buddy with the, with the rocket. Oh, whoa, he shot one out of the sky? Oh, this truly is. Watch up. Oh, I'm just gonna scavenge. Ugh. Yeah, he had to shoot his own guy, you know. Friendly fire incident. Man. Guy appeared to be screwed anyway. There he is, well. One leg down. Well, that wasn't why I came here. It's... Although, I guess we could fold that into the deal. Oh, like, well, sorry, Bob, but I'm not dealing with the Super Mutant Overlord. We're just gonna rock him from over here. But this is the home of the same Brotherhood of Steel that is in Boston right now. I mean, this is where they came from. And they're just so different. Good to see you. Talk to Scribe Jameson. She's our keeper of the scrolls. She will want to know what you found. Glad to be of help. Of course! They're actually kind of pleasant, you know? I know that we'll find Scribe hey, Jameson. If we run into her, that'll be great. It's him or... I forget. It's been so long. Need something, friend? Did you need something? Sarah appreciates my methods. I fill a role no one else can. Shoot them, they die. Stab them, they die. Strangle them, they die. Okay, so maybe we're not that far. Spec Ops. Let's leave it at that. Stay safe, stranger. Captain Gallows. Ooh, this... Okay, who's this? Welcome. Good to see you. We're all clear here. Okay, nothing really to engage with there. And they're... Everyone's sleeping. We should probably sleep and come back. 
Okay, now here's something that might be useful in the meantime. The Maxon Archive Terminal. Maxon Family Dossiers. Okay, so the original Roger Maxon first found it, and he seemed to do it with at least some level of, uh, born, uh, the teenager of unspecified in 2077. That's when the, uh, the war started. Okay. Okay, so he took over as High Elder in 2135. What does it... What's the math on that? He was a teenager in 2077. Wow. That's... That, that's pretty up there. Okay, let's... I didn't want to do that. I have to remember the controls. John Maxson. His father was killed. had some dealings with a mysterious figure identified only as the Vault Dweller in the year 2062 at the age of 65. Okay, so obviously that throws back. New entry, Scribe Arthur Maxon. Now this is kind of critical. Only son of Jonathan and Jessica, both deceased. Last of the Maxon bloodline. As an infant sent to the Citadel to be fostered by Elder Owen Lyons. The reason for this decision was twofold. Number one, recent internal conflict among the Western Brotherhood of Steel created an unsafe environment for the child. It was believed that the Citadel, despite being located in hostile territory, would increase his probability of survival. Okay, so that's kind of an interesting thing. The Elder Alliance at the time was in high favor with the Western Elders and deemed a perfect candidate to provide care and training to the Squire. Recent events have led to a lack of communication with the Western Elders. As a result, Squire Maxon will remain at the Citadel indefinitely. There's some interesting things going on there, but nothing that really guides us to why he would kind of turn the, uh, the diary of Roger Maxon, the state of Maxon. As an actual state. Nothing that really tells us. It gives us an insight into the mind of the of the man, you know? Oh, here we go. What's it? Hey there, what did you need? If you think this means the pride has nothing to do anymore, you're crazy. We still got the damn Frankensteins crawling all over DC, and Rothschild's got us picking up every blinking gizmo from here to Virginia. Quite a bit of work cut out for us, huh? My father says we need to watch the borders for them to send reinforcements. But I think it'll be a long time before anything happens. We dealt them a hell of a blow, and it's gonna take them a good amount of time to recover. Father's sending us into DC to scour the ruins and try and cleanse it of super mutants. He's calling it our next great obstacle. Sometimes I wish we could just take a rest. But... I have to keep a stiff upper lip and help the machine run smoothly, so that's what I'm gonna do. Well, the prize got the downtown area pretty well covered. You may want to talk to Paladin Tristan or Scribe Rothschild. They may have something for you to do. Good luck. It's 
Always a pleasure to have you around. So you still have the anti-super mutant, anti kind of, you know, which of course in this game the super mutants merely killed you. It wasn't like in New Vegas. Something else on your mind? Well, the Enclave might not be a threat anymore, but we're not done by a long shot. We've still got muties crawling all over the ruins like rats, and they're multiplying every day. It's no picnic keeping their numbers down, but that's our job. Just keep wiping out those super mutants and you'll be helping plenty. Okay, so that that tells us a lot right there. We still so we do see the 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 human centric kind of thing to it. All right, we'll see you later. Keep your eyes peeled for muties. Which, you know, this was before they really uh developed a whole lot as far as, you know, intelligent super mutants. Well, you do have a couple of I here. think I understand what you're saying, sir. When I calm down and focus, I don't see anything but the target. Then you've reached a new level of understanding. Combat does not take place in the brain. It is passion, instinct, and the will to survive. I understand. Like you said, no man may be defeated so long as his will to survive remains. The brother who taught me was a wise man, Initiate, but even will requires practice back on point. Is that like some kind of Obi-Wan Kenobi thing, or are they just talking through the door? Ah, hello. Oh, so nice to see you back at the Citadel. Well, let's talk, if you're happy to see me. Oh, yes. Is there something you wish to discuss? The outcasts are a result of my greatest mistake, but a mistake I'm proud of nonetheless. When I came here, I realized for the first time that the Brotherhood's technology could truly save the survivors in this wasteland. I chose to help them, even if it meant putting the Brotherhood's interests at risk. Some of my soldiers called me a hero. Others called me a traitor. The dissenters left my command, calling themselves outcasts to mock me. I cannot fault their dedication, even if I find them lacking in compassion. Only in a very broad sense, the Brotherhood's oaths are to protect humanity's progress, but not necessarily every human. The outcasts and members of the Brotherhood in other places consider it a waste to protect most people. After all, they say, everyone knows how to make another human, but the secrets to making a P-94 plasma rifle are all but lost. Even now, a year after they left, the wounds of their departure are still sore. Some of my soldiers are angry about it. They see it as an insult to me. Bless them for their loyalty. They're more angry about it than I ever was. Others understand their decision. Sometimes I hear them wondering if they should have gone with them. I can't blame them, but I stand by my decision, and I respect theirs. Has it been worth the cost in lives and resources to protect people like you from the super mutants? You tell me. I suspect my daughter's squad helped save your life. And most of our recent recruits have come from those we've saved over the years. It's cost us, but we've saved many lives and made the Capital Wasteland a place where people can live. Yes, I'd say that's been worth it. Yes, let's speak of other things. What more did you want to know? It's been over 20 years since we arrived, and we've been struggling to contain and eradicate the super mutants for nearly as long. With the arrival of the Enclave, I have a terrible feeling the super mutants are the least of our worries.
The Brotherhood began on the West Coast, and exists there still. We were dispatched to this location many years ago. In truth, the Brotherhood of Steel has been struggling for years, both here and back home. Honor, truth, courage. These virtues seem to have little meaning in these troubled times, I'm afraid. Ah, no. That's the real question, isn't it? Our orders were, and are, to acquire any and all advanced technology. And we have, to the best of our abilities. But when I realized the extent of the super-mutant threat, I felt it was my responsibility to aid the people in their struggle against them. Unfortunately, my superiors back west disagree with my assessment of the situation. They feel I've grown too attached to the local populace. And they're right. In any event, the Enclave's arrival changes everything. So be it. So what that tells me... Until we meet again, do take care. Is that this could very well, this whole period of time with the Brotherhood of Spiel, could... Brotherhood of Spiel. <laughs> Brotherhood of Steel. Could it be just largely an anomaly? I mean, it makes perfect sense that they've gone back to their outcasty sort of ways. Another glorious day in this man's army. There's one other thing I wanted to see here, if I can. Ah, yes, here we are. It makes me feel safer knowing you're around. Oh, well, you see, I am descended from the great Roger Maxon, founder of our order. I am the last of his line. They say my soul was forged from eternal steel, but I don't believe that. I'm really just a normal boy. I was sent to the Citadel many years ago to be fostered by elder lions, but that was before the Western elders lost faith in the Elder. I really don't know if I'll ever get home, but, well, I kind of like it here. Sentinel Lyons has been very kind to me. She's taught me so much. Oh, yes. I've studied them quite a bit since I've been here. They're not all the same, you know, besides the regular ones. There are also brutes, and after them, the Masters. They're really tough. But the worst of all? The behemoth! He's a giant! I saw one once, outside the Citadel walls. So scary. The super mutants are all over the city ruins. But Elder Lyons doesn't actually think they're from there, or we would have found their home by now. It kind of seems like they're looking for something, but we're not really sure what that is. No. But I could. I know I'm ready. I mean, it would be scary, but it's not fair that I have to sit inside while the knights go on patrol. I did go out one time, you know. Sarah, uh, Sentinel Lions, took me out, just to show me. I killed a super mutant, too, I swear. I, uh, I also sort of shot Sarah, but just a little. It was just a flesh wound. It was only a flesh wound. <laughs> okay, a little throwback there to the... The, the Knights of uh, Monty Python. Very nice. Very well. Now there's the kid. There's the kid that's flying around in that dirigible in Boston. You can see he's torn in a lot of different directions. He likes the lions, but he, he knows that the rest of the, the rest of the order doesn't agree with them. It makes perfect sense. You honor us with your presence here. Hail. Uh, Scribe Jameson. I actually need to talk to Scribe Jameson. Welcome. Yeah, she was a girl. Okay, I remember that. Can I be of assistance? You have? Oh my. This brings to light a sad affair for the Brotherhood. But perhaps it is something that you can assist us with. If you have the time, 
I have an offer for you. I've already done the offer. Good. As I'm sure you've noticed, the Brotherhood operates all over the DC ruins. We are short on communication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometime. So we, we give you the, uh... Exactly. A brother fallen in the field may have no one to... In calmer times... We blah, blah, should... blah, 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 blah. Yes, I know. They are... We have access to a great deal of technology, and because of that, I will be able to offer you caps for the tags you bring me. Come on. I have one. Why would I? Where is the darn? Is just... I look forward. Okay, let's try this if again. If there's anything I can do to help, please just say so. Let's ask about the holo tags. How do I give it to her? I just got one. Yes. What about them? Have you? It saddens me to hear of my fallen brethren, but their names and deeds shall be records. Tell me, how many have you found? Their names shall be written into the scrolls to be remembered forever. As for you, here's your reward. Use it well and in good health. A hundred bottle caps. There you go. All right. Her tag. That wasn't... I have to go now. I look forward to our next meeting. You can go to sleep. What is it? Later. Well, let's go outside here. How do we get outside again? Okay, here we go. You honor us with your presence here. You honor us with your presence here. Now, where was Fort Independence? I think Fort Independence might have been where the outcasts were hung out. Yeah. Good to know some of the stuff still is there in the memory. You're not involved in this. You want to keep it that way. Always good to see you. What have you brought for us? All that stuff is stuff I brought him. We were cast out for our dedication to the Brotherhood's true goals. Lions wanted to play hero to the locals instead of doing his job. We were proud to leave him, so we kept the name Outcasts and wear it with pride. A big fuck you to the old man. He may have struck our names from the Great Codex, but we'll be vindicated in the end, and our names will be restored. Which one? The original Brotherhood out west, or the shit that Lions turned it into out here? I mean the Brotherhood from out west, back around California. We knew what we were doing back there. We didn't waste time with delusions of heroism. We were collecting still glowing embers from the ashes of humanity. Before civilization's fire died completely. We didn't worry about saving individual communities. We worried about saving the progress of humanity itself. Oh, he used to be as tough as the rest of us. It wasn't so long ago. We fought side by side to scourge the pit, but somewhere he went soft. Stopped looking at the big picture and started trying to save every tribal and illiterate community he found. When he had us helping those savages instead of recovering tech that could help us all, that's when we objected and became outcasts. The Brotherhood came out here to recover technology from the eastern cities and bases. If lions won't do it, then we will. And when we resume contact with the Western elders, lions is going to be put in his place. Even if that place is in front of a firing squad. All right, then. 
Good hunting out there. So there you have it. Those are the attitudes in Fallout 3, and when we come to Fallout 4, we see that Lion's optimism and his compassion didn't hold up. Young Maxon took up with the original mandates for the Brotherhood of Steel. Worry about the metal. Actually, looking at this, doesn't it seem so foolish? Like, they're worried about finding computer bits or laser guns. Bits of armor. Like, that was what the greatness of this world was. Yet they ignore building communities. And communities are the only way the civilization moves on. You can have all the technology sitting in a box on a shelf, but if the people die off, it's just gonna, you know, be there for what, aliens to find later on? Of course there's aliens in this game, but I mean, you're not gonna rebuild the world without people. People are what's key. And that's coming from an engineer. I mean, yes, you need to save the technology as much as you can, but if you're, you know, gonna let everybody else get slaughtered in the process when you could do something, that's, that's wrong. Flawed. But, of course, that's part of the character of the game. The flawed factions. Which brings us back to Boston. I forgot. We still had that one guy we had to find. Hello. Totally different feel to it, doesn't it? It's amazing, you know, when you go back to back, the, the advance in technology. Uh, you know what? This guy could have spun, you know, on anywhere. He could be in a box. We draw, go out here a little bit when we draw him out. We blasted everything, and it's still. What's that there? An old boat. Hmm. It didn't clear yet? Raider troubles at Warwick Homestead. Kill the raiders! Yes, we, we, we did that. Alright, let me look up how to, to do this versus... Uh, oh, we can level up, too. You know, it wouldn't be a bad plan to do this over with. Go go back a couple saves. Leave the bobblehead. Because I forgot you could keep leveling your stats until you max them out. Then get the bobblehead. And then we wouldn't have this glitch. You won't have to watch any of this, but we'll, we'll take game. We'll do that. Okay, so what I did was I did a quick run-through of the Adam Cat stuff over again. Fast traveling away so I didn't get the mission to go clear out the big boat. So that means the agility bobblehead is safe. I know exactly where it is. And when my agility is completely maxed out, then, and only then, will I go and get the bobblehead to give myself more agility. Ha ha. Ha ha. Now, uh, just checking things out here at Murkwater. I mean, you know, one thing you have to do is stop at the thing so things aren't out of control when you get back. How do I get in? Built this pretty impenetrable here. Yeah, Need to get back to Diamond City one of these days. Where are the steps? What how did I build this? Oh well. You know what I how um, how are they doing? Well, the slog is got some things going on. The castle. Castle, that's a glitch. The no beds glitch. I forget how to fix that. I know there's beds there. Apparently driving. Spectacle Island. You can't, you can't keep everybody happy. 
to Google that stupid no beds glitch. I think you just have to go there. I think it's a matter of going there and then things perk up. But man, going back to the castle. Now oh, I guess we'll have to think about it. Starlight's got beds. Spectacle Island. Well, it still doesn't have beds. Maybe he's go to one of them. The Red Rocket. We don't care. Oberlin Station. Okay. Oberlin Station. We could check on it easily. Without too much trouble. Call it a good day. One that ends without an empty stomach. That's like all good. Look at all these cows. How could you be hungry? Let's go map wise. Where's Oberlin? Oberlin, Oberlin. Let's zoom back out. There we go. I remember it was that this the end of one of the river one of the rivers bent. Everything hurts. Okay, so here we are in Hi, Oberlin. How are you? Which it says has zero beds. Fairly certain that's not true. Let's see, has that cleared that up? I don't know why I go anywhere just yet. Yep, beds twenty three. Now did they clear it up for the castle? No, we have to go to the castle. Okay, we go to the castle. Clear up that no beds glitch. Last thing we want to do is lose the castle. Okay, and we fast travel the heck out of there because we don't want to talk to anybody. No, not even a little bit. Nope, 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 nope. Where do we want to go? I think we want to go up to Slog. I'll explain why in a minute. Well, as you guys call, there's so much stuff. Slogity, Slog, Slog. Green Tuck Nursery, Break Heart Banks. The Slog, tucked right in there. The Slog, technically speaking, is one of my favorite, uh, favorite settlements. And here we are. Hell of a time swimming in there with all that foliage. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, Nick. Well, Nick, the one trick Anything is... Anything I can do? You just say the word. I don't... I'm saying to myself I should settle down someday. Maybe I missed the boat on that one. You know what? Maybe old Longfellow's the one I want to bring with you. He's going to come back for Piper. <laughs> gonna come back for Piper, but I haven't leveled the long to yet. Kill us, but never lacks Where is old Longfellow? Damn. Can't remember if I had my bath this week or not. Uh. This hey. time we heading out? That's right. Let's get going. After you then. Send Nick Valentine too. Where do we send him to? I think if I cancel, he just goes back to his office. Oh, he's just going to stay at the slog. That's fine. Uh, you think I'm beautiful now? You should have seen me before. Let's see, what's dead out here that they were killing? Probably bugs. So now... I have to do what I've been kind of procrastinating against, and that is investigate the Brotherhood of Steel. Join up so you can find out what's going on, because this leader of this, where's Cambridge? Cambridge. Been so long. Boss in common, combat zone, treaty tower. There it is, the Cambridge Police Station. People from Boston are like, you don't know where Cambridge is? What's wrong? I am not from Boston. I've been there once. Beautiful town. Loved it. But that was 1989? Yeah, 1989. So it's been a while. Now, just to refresh ourselves here, 
in my justify the character's actions, why would my character want to join the Brotherhood of Steel? He's already the leader of the Minutemen. Probably so that he would know what they're doing. He could be the inside man. He wouldn't have to jeopardize anyone else getting in there. And he could find out what's going on. Trust himself by this point. An old long fellow. I don't know whether much, how much of this he'll like or dislike. But he's one of the few people I haven't gotten the perks from yet. As far as people I have met. And we're probably going to trade him right out for dance. But at least he can. Maybe something good will come from this. We'll see if we get dance immediately. And it, as far as my own personal motivations here, I want to advance with the Brotherhood of Steel so that I can save uh, Dr. Lee, who I feel is an important... It's important to, for me just to... If I could save someone from a different game, this, and she was in Fallout 3, that would be important. And here we get to see a little bit of the true brotherhood. Dropping muties and ferals is my specialty. There's still a place for you in the brotherhood. Synths? Oh. If you want it. They're just extra target practice for me. I'd be honored to join. Then that settles it. Aelin, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the brotherhood. He shows a lot of promise. And with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. Thanks. I promise not to let you down. You don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was enough. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. I did, for a long time. Let's just hug this out and get it over with. What do you say? You can play it however you want, tough guy. It's gonna take a lot more than completing one mission to impress me. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Don't worry. I've spent time in the military. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you a long lecture. So I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. There's one last order of business I wanted to get out of the way. I'm going to recommend you to be awarded the rank of Knight. Now, nothing's official until you speak to Elder Maxon, but I wanted you to be the first to know. Thank you. Thanks aren't necessary. Just continue excelling at your duties, soldier. Ad Victorium, Knight. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad Victorium means to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I've received orders that we're both to report to the Pridwin. However, if you want to run a few ops for Scribe Halen or Knight Reese first, they could certainly use your assistance. I'll leave the choice up to you. Let me know when you're ready to mount up. Let's see, should we run an op? That seems like a good thing. Halen? Re still giving you the cold shoulder. Uh, that's it. So, are you ready to take on your first assignment? Ready. Great. Let me explain what I need you to do. One of the Brotherhood's most important duties is the recovery and preservation of technology that was lost when the bombs fell. I have a list of locations that contain artifacts we need you to recover, in order to have them cataloged and studied by our scribes. Here, this should cover all the information you'll need to find your first artifact. Good luck, and be careful. Ah, quartermastery, okay. Recover the reflex capacitor at Zephyr Ridge Camp. Alright, well, we can, we can probably just then go right to the Brindaway. Dance. Are you ready to head up to the ship? Of course I am never seen anything so impressive. Takes your breath away, doesn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Who's Elder Maxon? 
Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. I like how he's kind of blending Follow me up to the, the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Typically, typically Fallout, you know it's Loading. Ah, Vertibird, okay. Where am I supposed to go? Why is that? Where'd he go? Did we did we glitch here? Why is it telling me to go back inside? So that I can go back out. I mean, that's the wrong. Where'd he go? Are we completely glitched out here? All right, maybe we should just get on board. All things being equal, I'd rather keep my feet on solid ground. Oh, I got the gun. In front of you, loaded and ready to fire. If you spot anything hostile during the flight, I suggest you put it to good use. Okay. Make sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the locals. Well, hey, at least they care that much. The Commonwealth looks different from up here, doesn't it? It never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield changes from the air. We're gonna need that edge when we take on the Institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. Still doesn't make a whole lot of sense why they would fly all the way up here just to fight the Institute when, you know, the Institute. I wish everyone down there believed in our cause, but they've been blinded by rumors and misinformation. They don't realize the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last My clerks. for survival. Every man, woman, and child below is in mortal danger if we fail. It's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population. Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty. And I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory. We're on final approach to the airport. The Pridwin should be coming into view just ahead. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. Something shooting at us, but I don't see what. Nothing on the map. Oh, Constitution, look at that. This is a nice little tour of the Commonwealth, isn't it? Looking for 
for something that may shoot at us. Yeah, probably not here. Of course, the airport's always a little bit iffy. There's nothing I'm going to be able to tell from here unless it actually puts a red mark on the, on the radar. I guess we can just mostly look around. So there it is, the Perduin. How this looks when we dock. There she is. It's been far too long since I've been aboard. All right, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. The music is good. Are we landing here or are we going up to the Pridal? Ooh. You really think replacing the High Confessor is gonna be enough? Not sure I do. Discovered the Pridwin. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted. Welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridwin and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Let's see. Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? What exactly is your mission here? I'm not at liberty to say. Elder Maxon will be addressing the crew shortly, and I'm certain all of your questions will be answered. Now, was there anything else, or was everything I said understood? Ooh, not even a hint? Not even a hint. Come on. I deserve it. Look, all I can tell you is that we're here directly in response to the data that Dance's recon team provided us. Beyond that, you'll just have to wait until Elder Maxon addresses the crew. Now dispense with the questions. It's time to get to work. Understood? That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers occupying the Citadel and the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not yet. Until Elder Maxon grants you that title, you'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? I got better armor than you got, so I'm okay with that. What are my orders? Your orders are to proceed to Elder Maxon's address, after which he wishes to speak with you. Anything else? All right, go to no I questions. I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. All right. There's not too many places we can go. Must be an elevator. Or, ah, here we go. We can go up here. 
this the command? No, this isn't the command yet. Old Longfellow seems completely out of place here. Welcome aboard. Elder Max is waiting for me, okay. So, we've come full circle here. We started out looking for Elder for Squire Maxon. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our mission. Beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb they call their creation, the Synth. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I. I'm not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their Sixths are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy, itself. Ad Victoria. Ad Victoria. Well, at least he's got a positive Victorium. attitude. At least he's got a positive Don't attitude. Despair, brother. We're here to save the Commonwealth. The last person that disobeyed Captain Kells ended up scraping rust off the Pridwins Hall from the outside. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. I can see that. They're playing with fire and we need to save them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Yay. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Did he just put his hands from the inside of his jacket out? Open your... Hope letting integrity looks good. No need for adjustment. Hey. Yeah. Excuse me. Got something you need done? Your thoughts? Got a chill in my bones that won't come out. Too many nights out sleeping in the fog. Okay, never That's mind. All. Back to it then. Hopefully just having you around somehow. That's the flight deck. Where is my personal storage container? Balanet Alpha at 93%. Compensating. Eh. Always get the bottle caps later. Looks like we have a thruster imbalance. Tweaking pitch. I believe you're needed elsewhere right now. We can uh, talk later. I'm trying to find. I guess we have to go out to the flight deck.
I get a set of power armor, but I don't really need a set of power armor. But I'll, I'll take a set of power armor whenever I can find it. Congratulations on the promotion. Tighten up for me. I'll split the difference. Now, half. Did you want to? No, no. Where's my personal, you know, set of armor stuff? Things? Are you here? Wants to fly back. Why would they have tires up here? I'll take some bullets. That's an interesting view here, because we should be able. Interesting, because we're just outside of visual range here. But right there. You can see the edges of it is my settlement, but we don't have the visual range to see it properly. It's just what's there when you get them out. Okay, let's see. Can we go to um, data? Uh, quarter mastery. Miscellaneous. Okay, I need that. Where is my personal? How can a machine believe it's? Yeah, how can a machine? Though they're, they're still, they're definitely set against. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ah, main deck. Okay, let's head to the main deck. Status report. Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on. If you're looking for ammunition or weapon mods, Proctor Tegan might have what you need. Okay, so I don't quarter here. Hail Knight. But there's something. Proctor Ingram said she needed this suit tested yesterday. Yeah, I get it. Just David Addison's like storage. Ah, look, there you go. I forgot my own Fire. name. Everything holding together? Trust me, you'd know. Good. Uh, firing. There's my personal story. Someone else is in my bed. And you didn't scuttle the ship. Thanks, Initiate. Sure. Anytime. So where do I get my armor? I see an armor thing up here. There. Try it now. Nothing. I was supposed to report By ten Elder minutes Maxim's ago. Orders, you can't fix it. All forms of technology should be confiscated or collected. You're the one who decided to kick your way through a mire lurk. <laughs> there you go. So it's a T60. BOS T60. That's pretty Thanks, good. Thanks, brother. I owe you. When it comes to keeping the grid when running, Proctor Ingram's the best. Now we'll come back here for that. I assume that's what happened. We've got a lot of work ahead of us, brother. Medical areas. Go back to the command deck. Well, let's let's advance this. Let's get to the flight deck. Let's get back on the ground. Or maybe, maybe that's the best thing we could finish with this video. There he is. You know, I can't see a cannon ending where we kill him. We're getting a three percent Z tilt. Adjusting thrust recommended. Peace. Remote units you see him from when he's a kid. And, and now here he is, commander of everything. Right, wrong, or indifferent. He's got, I think he's got to be part of the future Fallout canon. On that note. Green. 
This is the Black Knight. Apparently, now I'm a knight. <laughs> Completion time, 14 minutes. Have a great night. If it's not one thing, it's another. Well, gotta run. 